Hi everyone, I hope you well. This is Just going to dive into VeChain. Once again, thank you for your continued support across the channel. Really do appreciate everything that you do to contribute towards the growth of CoinsKid here. It's amazing. And thank you to everyone in the Telegram group, the admins, the whole team there. Thank you. And, and most importantly, thank you to everyone that supports me on Patreon. That's really good. The links are all in the description of every single video that we publish here on CoinsKid. So have a good weekend. I'm going to dive in right now. So like I've said to you, what you don't need to see is keep hitting your head on this red line on the 4 hourly. Because if you do, it's going to give confirmation that you sort of caught under resistance and it's going to contribute to you just coming down consolidating and back testing support and this is currently our support level okay we do need to keep an eye on that particular support because it's previous swing high just there we have wicked down to this level but i would imagine that at the moment you would actually come down to that level but if you do then do anticipate that you could potentially see a bounce right there but I'm, i am targeting this as a base level of support at the moment but that was a, just a bit of a nasty week because it was it was sort of a scam week down there okay so do keep an eye on that particular level if you start to lose zero one four one uh, do target that for a particular long position because I would expect it to bounce just there okay so at the moment V chain is consolidating and it would tie in as well with the fact that you know we're expecting that wave for correction and you do get an ABC correction on that so we'll have a look on the daily time frame here so on the daily time frame what we're anticipating is an ABC correction so basically you've gone up made a high you're gonna come back you, you should make a high which is less than the, the, the all-time high and then you'll have another pullback so that's an abc correction before continuation so do anticipate that if you was to break out it would sort of come up and um, fail to make another high then you would have another correction which would be the a b c correction before continuation on that wave five of this bull run so and that can go on for quite a while you know a couple of weeks to a month or whatever just a level of consolidation boring flat shake out the weak hands people get bored and look at other projects and that's how it works it's market manipulation okay so that's that's v chain on the daily covered but what i'm going to do is jump back to the four hour and see if we can see anything right now so you can see this this particular pattern here could start to roll down and you could start to form something called a w double bottom okay where it's came down like this it's coming up it's going to come back down make a higher low and then come back up and it's going to test the level of support right there okay and you can see what that level of support is in the middle there and it's also this red line this 20 ema on the four hourly time frame okay comes back down makes a high low comes back down makes a higher low like that and comes back up you have a breakout target and the breakout target is from there to there which would see you push up and make that high that we're talking about of that abc correction okay so do anticipate that and that particular level of support right now i will drop it in for you is that it's 020382 because what it's done when it's come down it's it formed a base and it's come back up and it's it's formed a level of resistance right there in the middle do you see that it's a level of resistance that vchain does need to get through in order to carry out this reversal pattern that we've got going on this w double bottom which is not actually formed yet we're just anticipating if it was to come any lower and you do start seeing it make a higher low do expect it to sort of come back up retest this resistance level if it gets through it back to the support boom you're looking at a nice little trade there up to the upside of around 25 percent for v chain so that's v chain but one thing that worries me i'll be honest with you one thing that does worry me and it, and it, it sort of tells me that potentially v chain is going to come back down even more and potentially lose this low okay and if it does lose this low just like i said to you, you've got your wick there but do anticipate that it could come as low as this previous swing high down there at 12 cents okay so i will drop that into you if if in case there is a larger correction i would expect that you would get a bounce at that particular level on that previous swing high okay so i will drop that in for you for future reference because the one thing that's telling me that we could be looking at a rather larger correction okay and creating this bearish cross which would contribute to a downturn testing lower levels of support is bitcoin we do have a target for bitcoin okay and so far it's putting up a fight but i do personally think that uh, Bitcoin is potentially going to get there okay and and this is the target I'll show you right now on Bitcoin right so with Bitcoin then you can see that it, it had this rising wedge when it made the highs you see this is called a rising wedge just here um, so it's gone up rising wedge made three peaks ran out of steam you can see it's starting to roll over when it falls out of the support line which was here okay it usually in rising wedges they come back to where they was formed and this was formed just here do you see this this is why we have this base level of support for, for bitcoin and we do expect it to at least wick down there this is something else i'm going to show you quickly i know it's a v chain video but this is why i'm thinking that the market's going to roll over a bit and, and v chain will be dragged with that nothing will be exempt that's why 
why you've got to target those lower lows okay um, so basically you can see it come down it formed a bear flag uh, bear pennant sorry came down and that had a target out of that and this was a perfect trade I did post this in the Bitcoin video do you see that look at that when it broke out boom target met right so what it's done now it's it's broken down again and you can see it's breaking down and what it's forming now is a bit of a bear flag okay where it starts to come back upon itself it could effectively just do something like this you see what this is done like that it comes back upon itself looks good starts to come down it's a level of resistance and the resistance is getting lower and the support is getting higher that's basically a triangle do you see that and so you could effectively create another sort of triangle pattern right here which is again a bear flag so it looks good it looks like it's getting recovery but it's coming down and doing something like this so it's just another bear flag and it's a continuation trend as you know it's a continuation pattern and you could see that when when bitcoin does fall out of it boom target met right which we posted there uh in a bitcoin video uh, about a week ago you know and from there that was a fantastic short for bitcoin if it does come down to there 25 percent for bitcoin so, so far so good that that particular short is in play and i do anticipate that we'll get down there okay because when these patterns are created and formed they're valid until invalidated away you know i always say it in the channel okay when a valid pattern this is valid it's going to carry out unless you get something called a throwback or you get a level of support come in and it just breaks the pattern by coming back up and coming back into it something like this where it gets supported starts to march on gets back in and breaks the pattern this pattern's redundant then okay and it's out the window because you've broken it so at the minute that pattern's in play that's why we do anticipate bitcoin to come down to that particular level but personally i think what what we're going to see here and i've not got a crystal ball but i think we're going to get a wick down there and a bounce i do think that we're going to get heavily supported if we do come down to that particular level because of this okay on the weekly time frame here and this is also in my uh, bitcoin video and um, on the weekly time frame we've got this yellow line creeping up and we need to back test it as support and i think what we'll do i think we'll wick down to this particular target here okay so if you are into bitcoin put some cheeky bids in there okay because i do think we'll wick down and bounce back up and we will sit on this yellow line for a bit and consolidate like this which would see a lot of alts consolidate as well which would also drag them down as well that's why i do anticipate that region could potentially start to come down to that uh, 12 cent sort of mark and that's basically that's my explanation why i do think we may see further correction for VeChain, and that would coincide with the wave four uh, theory that we've got going on. That big, bigger wave pullback just there for for VeChain. So again, not financial advice. It's just something that I'm seeing, and the fact it it, it looks it looks to be caught under this red line as a level of resistance right there. So potentially coming down, making that high low, coming back up, breaking it, back to the support, and carrying out that. If, if bitcoin behaves obviously that's that'd be a nice little recovery pattern right there and again if you were to lose that level do target this particular level as a base level of support so if you did see v chain start to collapse okay and bitcoin go down you think oh no do target that as some potential buyback zones and put some bids in there for, for v chain again not financial advice it's just something that i'm seeing so far okay so that's basically it for v chain um do target this particular level here if you do, if you do now break this support this will be kind of a, a v-shaped recovery i don't anticipate that you will though i've not got a crystal ball but I, I do suspect that the more this continues to act as resistance and you roll over you will form that bearish cross contributing to your downturn and uh, yeah so that you've got your targets in there of, of support okay good luck everybody i wish you well and i'll be back tomorrow with another v chain uh, video take care bye bye